Hello everybody, thank you for tuning in and today I'm going to have a look, another look at the Celestron Travelscope 70 and do my best to answer one question that I do get asked quite a lot and that question is what other accessories do I need to enhance my experience with this telescope and um, if I was to think, think of one thing I would recommend it's probably not what you're thinking of and it's certainly not the tripod I know a lot of people say the, the, the tripod is way too light, too flimsy, but the clue is in the title. It's a travel scope. It's designed to be lightweight so you can carry it around, put it in the backpack, go out to location and use it. That, that is why it comes with a lightweight tripod. But it's perfectly adequate just to get you started. You can upgrade it at, at a, another point down the, down the road and uh, you can also with a dovetail mount there, even mount it onto a, an EQ mount. But for getting you started, it's perfectly fine. So moving on to the finder scope, it comes with a inverted image 5x24, very basic optics, and so you might want to upgrade that to a red dot finder. But it's not on it's not my choice of one thing that I would upgrade, mainly because with this eyepiece, this is the 20, 20 times, which gives 40 magnification. The field of view through that is so wide, you don't really need a finder scope. So you could upgrade the finder scope, you could upgrade the tripod, but you don't really need to. This is all about getting started. So let's go into the eyepieces. You get a 10mm and a 20mm. These are modif modified ac achromatics, and they give 20 times and 40 times. And again, this is a wide field telescope. Don't, don't worry about high magnification. There are, there are other telescopes available if that's what you want, if you want to look at planets. But for finding your way around the night sky, looking at rich field star clusters, and yes, the craters on the moon, and you will be able to see the rings around Saturn, but, but not in great detail when it comes to the planets. But it serves the purpose find your way around the night sky, very very simple to use ideal for kids and, and adults or, or big kids in my case so the eyepieces you get with it perfectly adequate and also I get asked a lot well, what about a barrel lens? again yeah, that, that, that would take you up to 80 magnification or 120 at which point then you might want to upgrade the tripod. So stick with the eyepieces you get, 20 times and 40 times, nice wide field of view, find your way around the night sky very easily, that's all you need. So I've been through the tripod, the finder scope and the eyepieces and none of them are on my to-do list if I was to think of one thing to replace. Uh, you could get a or, or add. You could get a smartphone adapter but again a, a lot of people when starting out just just look through the eyepiece, enjoy the view through the eyepiece, don't worry about photographs it'll, it'll only stress you out. So what is there left to replace? Well it comes here with a 45 degree diagonal that gives an upright image which is fantastic for terrestrial use or astronomy if something's not too high up in the sky. But if you look at something high up, you're having to really bend your neck down to look through the eyepiece. So the one addition I personally would add to this spine scope kit if you just had to buy one extra item is this is my old one off my TAL telescope, that is a 90 degree star diagonal. So that means if you are looking high up or at the zenith you will not have to bend your neck as much to look through the eyepiece. So that is the Celestron Travelscope 70 and my own personal choice of if I was to pick one item that would improve your viewing experience with this telescope. But by all means if you can think of what one item yourself a better eyepiece or something that you've added yourself you know please use the comments below and let me know what you think so as always thank you very much for watching 
Thank you for subscribing as well to all our subscribers. Gone past 800 now, would you believe it? So thank you very much for watching again. Please check out the links in the description below.